God bless you all today, brothers. I just want to share with you today, Joshua 10. Um, and I just want to overview what we've read up to yet, up to the 10 chapters. And look at the obedience of Joshua. You know, so far, Joshua's journey, he has been obedient to what God has said. You know, if we go back to when, chapter 1, when he was first made, you know, the leader, <clears throat> God told him that every place he would go and put his foot, that God would give him. He told him that his territory would be extended from Lebanon to the Euphrates and all the Hittite Mediterranean Sea in the west. And he told Joshua to be strong and courageous. But he also said to him to be careful to obey all the law that Moses gave. And not to turn left or right. But to keep God's centre. To keep God's centre and be successful. And meditate upon the word of God. So that he would be careful to do everything written in it. And he told him that the Lord would be with him. Wherever he went. And he told him, you know, that when they came to the Jordan, that in three days they would cross the Jordan. And Joshua is obedient to wait. And after the three days has passed, he crosses the Jordan. We see when he comes to the town of Ai, uh, Jericho. The walls are so thick and so high and a fortress of a place. God tells him to march round it six days and on the seventh day the walls will come down. Joshua is obedient once again to God. He waits upon the Lord and does exactly what the Lord said and the Lord is true to his promise. In Ai when sin is in the camp God points out the problem and what is wrong and what is going on. And Joshua is obedient to removing the sin. He is obedient to cleansing the camp and doing what God says. And now we come here to chapter 10. And now as we come to chapter 10, we see this, that the sun and the moon stand still. That Joshua once again, you know, these kings are, are rising up against him. And God tells Joshua, do not be afraid, I've given them into your hands. Not one of them will be able to stand against you. And Joshua once again is obedient to God. And we see that God stops the sun and it just stands still. And the moon stands still. And Joshua in this day has great victory and conquers the kings. Now what am I trying to say this morning? Where am I going with this brothers? Is this. That. In chapter 1, because of his obedience towards God, we see that God does a miraculous thing and parts the Jordan for him to walk over. Because they were obedient and they waited upon the Lord and they trusted God and put their faith in God. We see when it comes to the town of uh, Jericho that Joshua just doesn't storm straight in. The Lord has given him a command. He's trusting that command just like he was told to keep the Lord's commands. To do what the Lord says in chapter 1. And this is exactly what he does. And what does God do? God does another miraculous sign. The walls of Jericho come down. We go to Ai. And we see that you know. Because they're now coming under defeat. Because of sin in the camp. God again reveals to them. The problem and the sin. And Joshua once again is obedient. To cleansing the camp. And now we come to chapter 10. And the kings are rising up against Joshua. And what does God do? Because of Joshua's obedience, because of Joshua trusting God, because of his faith in God, because of his obedience towards God, God stops the sun and the moon and gives these kings into his hands. What I'm trying to say this morning, my brothers, is when we live in obedience towards God, and as we look at this life that Joshua, this journey that Joshua is, is on up to this point, he has been a man who has been obedient to God, trusted God and put his faith in God. And through that, great things has happened in his life you see brothers we can be coming against battles where we think there's no way we can be coming against battles where we think we just can't defeat them they're too hard they're too strong we can have certain sin within our life that we feel we can't get over and the battle sometimes can we can feel to be outnumbered 
just like Joshua in all these situations. But if we are obedient to what God says and we meditate upon the word of God day and night and we keep to what the word of God says and we know that God has promised us for those who overcome, that God has promised us that trials and, 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 and testings and what they do and we understand that we're in a spiritual warfare and we understand all these things but we understand the promises of God and what God has said and we remain obedient towards God no matter what we face, no matter what we go through then great things can happen. You know, that way where there seems to be no way like that Joshua and the Israelites when they was at the Jordan, God can just open it up like he did the Red Sea. God can do that for me and you. We can come to problems in our life and feel like there's no way and God can make a way. We can be like, you know, the Israelites at Jericho when the enemy just seems like it's a fortress and it's too hard and you, you're never going to defeat this enemy. There can be certain enemies within our life and we can begin to feel the same. But with God, just like the walls of Jericho come down, God can bring them walls down in our life. Walls that get in our way, God can bring them down. Just like in AI, you know, we can be, you know, have sin within our camp. We can have sin within our life that feels like it's defeating us. But God can expose that sin. God can deal with that sin today. Maybe, you know, we can be like the, the kings, what we read here in chapter 10. And these kings, you know, are outnumbering Joshua. But with God, God gives him the victory. Sometimes we can feel outnumbered. Sometimes we can feel like sin is defeating us. We can feel like there's no way. We can feel like the enemy's too strong and there's wars within our life. But we need to understand today, brothers, that through obedience to where, towards God's word and, and, and towards God, you know, when we act in obedience to that, it shows how much we trust God. It shows that we're faithful to God. It shows that we've got our faith and trust in God. And, you know, no matter what we face, we're going to be obedient to God and we're going to do what God's word says, you know, and we're going to keep our eyes fixed upon God. And through obedience... Great things can happen in our life. Great deliverance and great things because Jesus has the victory. Brothers, we know that tomorrow is Sunday, right? And we know that Jesus was put on the cross on Friday and on Sunday, he risen to life. Glory to God. And because he lives, so can we. And because he's overcome sin, death and Satan, so can we today. The victory has already been won. We just have to be obedient to God as we continue our journey in this life. God bless you.